Awesome. There we go. So I'd like to say hello, Sharon. It is such a privilege to have you to visit with us and share your journey in the six week program. You undertook this program during the holiday season, in the midst of a pandemic, life <laughs> happening, and you achieved a miraculous accomplishment 30 pounds down in six weeks so i'm going to turn it over to you let you introduce yourself and just talk a little bit about like what brought you into the coaching program with me um your um goals in the program and how you're feeling today 30 pounds down you've lost a person so i'll turn it over to you there you go <laughs> Hi, hello everyone um well I guess I can tell you that I'm a registered nurse. Um, I work for the VA uh, hospital and I started my journey um, about six weeks, a little bit more um, ago. And my goal was to be healthier, uh, to lose some weight. And um, I was diagnosed with diabetes and um, high blood pressure. And so I wanted to get off some of that medications. And um, I really did not like taking um, oral medication and insulin. And so I would have been just struggling. And um, I have a friend, uh, Deborah, who introduced me to Beverly. And we started off with a detox and I, I did detox while I was on vacation. Yes, I, I was. Um, vacation and recovering from um shingles um and started out in california so i was able to you know do um the detox and incorporate that so that my family members could participate um in some of the meals that i prepared and um what else can i tell you um i i chose this route because um I like to try new things, but then sometimes I, I just struggle and I just give up. Um, but I wanted and I knew I needed a personal um, relationship with someone so that, you know, to keep me on track. And when Beverly was telling me about her program, I was like, I want to try that. I want to do that because I, I want to feel better. I want to exercise more um, and, you know, and just feel better. And so that's, that was my journey. That's why some of the things why I started and I, my weight was nearly 240. Um, and that was, that's the heaviest I've ever been. And mind you, I'll be 52 to, um, in February, February 12th. And I just wanted, um, to do something better for my life and get off you know, the medication and, um, and just why I want to live. <laughs> so that's why I said, okay, Beverly, don't give up on me, but I want this. <laughs> so I, I took the steps and I did what she told me to do. Um, I went through the plan, um, and just followed what she told me to do. And, um, and I wanted to be accountable. That was another thing, uh, accountability. Um, having somebody that will um, say, hey, I don't think that's a good choice. Maybe try something else. And I didn't have that. Um, you know, I, I just had people uh, that's around me that, you know, we go out, we eat, we whatever we want to do. And that was it. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to get off that wagon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, so. you have done an amazing job. And I think about so many of the little things that you had to overcome on this journey. I remember at the onset, you were saying something about you and some friends got together and I think you went to lunch or something. I can't remember the entire um, scenario, but I think you said you ended up having some things. You're like, I know I shouldn't have it. And I can hear Beverly talking to me in the back of my mind, but you came to me and told me, what happened? And I say, Sharon, what we have to do is surround ourselves with an environment that's going to support us. So you're going to have to tell your buddies that they're going to have to join you on the walking track 
or they're going to have to join you doing something active, but you just couldn't hang out and eat that way while you were going through this particular goal for yourself. And I recall you saying that, you said the next day, I said, we, we're going to get yourself back on track. So whatever you ate wrong, don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up. It's in the past. We're going to move forward. So I was like, we need to cleanse and purge and detox. And you had to eat these vegetables. And ah. I remember, <laughs> what did you tell me about those vegetables? <laughs> I, I, I remember that uh, just like yesterday, um, um, we went and I ate fried oysters and I and I knew um, I shouldn't have had the fried food, but um, the menu didn't have any anything else. And I remember I did not uh, want to send a picture of what I ate to you, <laughs> but I, I confess and um, and I tell you, um, I was really upset with myself and uh, I was a little upset with, with Beverly because I started eating all those vegetables. She was telling me, you know, we got to detox, get it out your system. And my stomach was growling. It was hurt. I was like, uh, uh I'm mad. <laughs> but in the long run, it started me, it reset my body and it started me on a, on this healthy road where I was eating all these vegetables and every time people see me oh that should go with that garden <laughs> so so it, it was um a good thing for me well that garden has definitely served you because i remember when we did the close out of your um program in the consultation you stood up in front of the camera and you had your um, I think it was like your top for work and you mm -hmm. did a spin and your top went like a dress. It just flared <laughs> out. And I was like, oh my goodness, look at there. Cause I, I recall you saying something about when you used to wear your uniform, you felt like it was not as comfortable as you remember it being. That's correct. Um, it was just tight. And uh, one of my uh, church members, she told me, she said, yeah, you were busting loose. <laughs> So, so all my uniforms are just so tight. And, um, and I was like, I can't go up another size. Now I've already gone up, you know, one size and, mm -hmm. and that was kind of a struggle, you know, everything tight and I'm having to wear all these tight, um, minimize or something so mm -hmm. I can get in my clothes. And, um, uh, mm -hmm. that, that was really hard for me. Yeah. Um, day to day. And it just felt good that I didn't have to do all that. I could just put my clothes on and hey, this is loose. yeah. And I'm like, my shirt has never been this loose. My pants have never been this baggy. So that that was good for me. That was wonderful. So I'm gonna bring up one other point, and okay. then we're gonna bring this to a close because I know you're at work again. Thank you for making the time to share. I had indicated when you came through the program. I say, Sharon. When you go through this and you reach your goals, then you step into a new role. You become an ambassador. There are going to be women that are going to be around you. They're going to see the outcome of what you mm -hmm. did in this program. Yeah. And they've been watching you all along. I told you they have been watching you, but now they see the results. So yeah. I remember you had mentioned to me that you used to have to like I guess go across the parking lot to get to your office and you would be carrying your bag and mm -hmm. your, your material for work and you would like be kind of out of breath and now what is the experience <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> it, it is amazing so coming from the parking lot and coming to the building i am not short of breath because by the time i get halfway i'm stopping and i'm like readjusting my bag and and um and then just feeling just just tired and then when by the time I get to the uh, building to open the door I'm like <sighs> <laughs> I mean just breathing hard you know and people speaking to me and I'm feeling so embarrassed and, and that's the truth just that embarrassment um and because I know I could do better and but now when I come down um from the parking lot to the building. You know, I got a little pep to my step now, so I'm getting oh, to the building a little bit um, sooner, you know, and I'm not having to stop midway to readjust my bag, but really just to catch my breath, mm -hmm. to be honest about it. Um, mm -hmm. So that that part, it feels good. It, it really does feel good. Um, and just, just not being so short of breath, you know, from just walking. 
right. um, because I um, I had all of that ex extra weight on me. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you so, were carrying an extra person, and you lost that yeah. person now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I'm, I'm happy about so that. <laughs> happy and thrilled, and I knew you could do it from the point we started the conversation. You said, you know, I'm committed to this, and that's the one thing that I ask my clients to do. I'm like, you have to be committed. Yes. And I would say, don't give up on me. I may have slipped. Don't give up. I'm like, Sharon, I'm not. I'm with you. I'm with you. And here we are at the end of your initial goal. You've dropped 30 pounds. That is fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. With yes. all of the hurdles that you've gone through with your work schedule and the holidays. And then mm -hmm. you were actually doing baking for other people for the holidays. Yes. We had a plan for that. We had a plan for you for that. And you, you did, did. Yes. perfectly. Perfectly. Yes. So I'm going to ask you one last question. We're going to close out. What would you say to the person that is looking at my program and considering it? What would you share with them? I would say do it. Don't hesitate. It is worth every penny. The information that you learn, you're going to keep it. And it's gonna, you're gonna incorporate this into your daily life. And so since I'm finished with the program, I still have recipes. I have my book. I mean, you know, where I, you know, print all stuff and put in the book so I can refer back to it. And the money that I spent for my health is worth it. I would do it again and again, because this is my life. We only have one life. And I'll tell anyone, do it. It is worth it. And the information, the support, that to me is worth every dime. And so I want to say thank you for that. Thank you. Because I wouldn't have been able to do this. I, I would not, I could not do this by myself. I'm 52 years old and I've been struggling with this and have not had this much of a weight loss uh, knowledge. And I never had it until now. So thank you. That means so much to me. Like I said, when we were having our conversation and even now I am holding back tears because I know what my program can do for the ladies. And I know yeah. what this does for your life. This is like a life changing experience, mm -hmm. life changing. So I wanna say again, I absolutely love and adore you. You have done amazing in the program. And I know you got some more goals ahead. So we'll talk I do. more I do. about that a little bit later, but I truly appreciate working with you. You are absolutely an angel in the field of nursing. And it's been a absolute honor to support you and foster all of the support you needed to get to your goal. And I'm just so thrilled. I remember you said about that picture on the driver's license. It's coming. Yeah, it's it, coming. it is. It it's is. Coming. It's coming. And, and I want to get back to that picture there too in the back. So yeah, I awesome. definitely want to get back to that too. <laughs> so we will do that again. Thank you so much. If you have any final words, let me know. I know you got a meeting right after this. So just want to give you the opportunity to share any last words that you wanted to share with anyone. I just want just again, thank you. Um, thank you for the knowledge. Thank you for everything that you've imparted into me. And and it really opened my eyes up to um, the relationship that I had with food and I continue to have with food. Um, and just um, just open my eyes and just know that um, I can do it. I can do it. And I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. You are welcome, you did do it. And again, I would encourage anyone who's listening to this, reach out because I would love to work with you in the same fashion to get the same results that Sharon has done. She has done amazing. So Sharon, hang on for a minute. I'm gonna close out the video and we'll okay. talk just a couple more seconds before we jump off. Okay, hold on. Okay. Thank you again, I really appreciate you. Thank you.